everyone, and welcome to Virtusa Tech Talk, our series dedicated to exploring technology trends that make an impact. In 2020, we witnessed rapid adoption of digital technology that enabled newer operating models. In today's Tech Talk, we explore key trends that will significantly transform businesses as we evolve in the new normal. We have with us today, Raghuveer Subotha, Senior Vice President and Head of Emerging Technologies at Virtusa to discuss his thoughts on key trends and emerging tech for the year ahead. Thanks for joining us, Rego. Thank you, Daniel. Uh, first of all, um, wishing all the viewers um, a very happy, safe, and healthy 2021. I lead the emerging tech capabilities at Virtusa. Emerging tech capabilities comprises of artificial intelligence, IoT, blockchain, and quantum computing. Back to you, Danny. Awesome. Very excited to have you here. So right off the sure. bat, Raghu, right off the bat, Raghu, what are some of the factors you consider when classifying trends, considering that we've just been through an unprecedented year? Great question, Daniel. Now, whether it is uh, businesses look to wait and watch or whether you know they have adapted themselves into newer tech, it's really important that the businesses and firms take time to review their business plans or the digital plans per se, and start including the newer and the emerging tech as the fulcrum of their digital strategy plans for 2021 and beyond as well. Now with that as the backdrop, our framework consists of a very simple three aspect or threefold approach. Number one, we wanted to make sure that when we set up the, or when we conclude on the tech trends, we want to make sure that businesses do keep their lights on, which is pretty much the run part of the businesses itself, to make sure that any new COVID-19 new norms that have come up or businesses themselves chose to have the new norms, kind of gets addressed through that. So that becomes the run part, which is the aspect number one. The second is pretty much is how businesses and firms look to future-proof their businesses itself and become more resilient for any such future incident or events that may occur. So that becomes the, um, the second aspect. The third, like I mentioned, some of the businesses early on, they were very quick in adapting or adopting the newer tech itself. It now becomes very important that they become more innovative and then lead the competitive landscape with better solutions coming into the market. So that's how I look to categorize uh, the tech trends within these three buckets. Yeah, those are some great points. Can you talk us through the key trends to watch out for approaching 2021? Absolutely. Straight off the bat, I would say artificial intelligence. Uh, while you know we have seen growing adoption of artificial intelligence um, uh, in 2020, uh, you know we have seen number of use cases, specifically from banking and financial sectors. You know there were greater push for adopting such a new technology as well. And what we continue to see throughout 2021 and beyond is the following three aspects within artificial intelligence in the field of artificial intelligence itself. Number one, explainability becomes very, very important in a pragmatic AI implementation. Second, AI alone cannot be a standalone uh, implementation or a standalone technology itself. A combinatory technology is coming together, whether it is AI plus cloud coming together to provide a holistic solution to a customer that becomes the second key aspect under AI itself. The third, we will continue to see the AI implementation become part of the mainstream application development itself. Many different product companies, service providers, they have their own variants of how they want to bring uh, AI as a mainstream application development, but that's certainly a trend to watch out for. So that's number one, the AI and the rising demand for AI itself. That's the tech trend, number one. Number two is, I, I choose to call this as an empowered edge. 
which means you know in 2020 you know we saw a little bit of edge computing towards the end of 2020 you know we saw uh, edge computing becoming more prominent that is because also that going forward into 2020 and 2021 and beyond the the devices and the edge nodes itself they tend to pack themselves with more compute capabilities which means to say that a lot of decisioning and intelligence can be put onto the edge itself with that we'll continue to see many data centers coming out with a distributed cloud fashion and we continue to see the uh, empowered edge concept really take off over the next uh, two to three years as well that's the empowered edge is the tech trend uh, number two number three 5g you know though in 2020 we consistently heard about 5G rollout. You know, we have seen many different carriers really start rolling out 5G services. But in our view, we need to look at 5G as more of a fulcrum of binding together multiple technologies to give what is called as a connected experience. Rather than looking at 5G as a single tower technology stack, which will uh, power the bandwidth and the speed parts of it of course it does but then leveraging these providing a connected well connected experience becomes the key trend number three number four is the era of um, low code no code um, application or solution development there are plenty of low code no code um, providers in the market what we also saw in the beginning of covid is that businesses and firms really started scrambling for skills, talent, platforms, everything to put together as quickly as possible, roll out a solution and so forth. And then by the emergence of low-code, no-code platforms, we will see that the businesses tend to kind of use these low-code, no-code to carve out their own business applications. And these are typically developed out of the line of businesses themselves. While that we see on the businesses part, there is enough and more play on the service providers and system integrators as well to take up the task of low-code, no-code in their own engineering differentiation pitches that they take to their customers or use low-code, no-code platforms as um, you know adopting or driving mainstream adoption of um, emerging tech uh, capabilities itself. So those were some of the four or five um, uh, trends, uh, Daniel, the rising demand for AI services, Empowered Edge, 5G, and um, the low-code, no-code um, development. And what about blockchain automation and cybersecurity? Do you feel that they'll go even more mainstream in the coming year? Fantastic. Very good question, uh, Daniel. Um, if I were to start talking about cybersecurity to begin with, it will continue to be the driver in 2021 itself, primarily because what we have seen, uh, cybersecurity is an aspect of putting together a lot of governance and policies around it. Like I said, one of the key trends that I talked about is the empowered edge with the growing demand of edge computing. We will look to see you know, how cybersecurity kind of plays a pivotal role in determining edge security as well, wherein the policies and the governance are centrally designed and then deployed to these nodes. So that's one aspect that you know we will see from a cybersecurity aspect. Second, the emergence of AI in cybersecurity, whether it is towards detecting uh, an attack or predicting some sort of a um, policy which, which, which you know, it can be rolled out to the edge or has become a mainstream policy. So that's something that from a cybersecurity standpoint, you know, we will look to see that becoming also one of the aspects of the trends to watch out for. Second, to the point that you mentioned, Daniel, about automation, automation will continue to rise uh, in 2021 as well. You know, like we saw in 2020, a lot of these business applications uh, were um, designed and automated using low-code, no-code platforms by some of the leading uh, digital process automation uh, platforms, 
as well as robotic process automation platforms. And these give a competitive edge for some of the players to quickly spin up all the backend workflows in an automated fashion. So that's something as a trend, you know, we will continue to see how uh, you know, there is a rise in the demand for automation as well. The third, which is about um, the blockchain. Certainly, you know, one of the key aspects that we started off the conversation is how, you know, we all saw how supply chain networks were broken and so forth. With the emergence of blockchain and cryptocurrencies, I think though there is a little bit of um, uh, haziness in terms of policies and the governance around these, I think 2021 will be interesting to see how these policies and governance around these technologies will be applied such that you know they become mainstream. It's our personal view that you know we we'll, we see the blockchain and cryptocurrencies coming part of the mainstream towards late 2021, if not uh, at the very beginning itself. Those would be some of our uh, point of views. Daniel, back to you. So our top trends to look out for are AI, Edge, 5G low-code, no-code, blockchain, cybersecurity, and automation. It'll be interesting to see how businesses will leverage these trends as part of their digital transformation journey. So thank you, Raghu, uh, for your insightful commentary and for your time today. And we really look forward to having you on our Tech Talk again. Thank you, Daniel. Wonderful being here. And thanks, everyone, for viewing this episode. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and visit our website at vertusa.com to learn more.